as we have studied multiplexers with enable input demultiplexers with enable input we have decoders also with enable input so enable input was uh, just to activate or deactivate the circuit i mean if you want to switch on the circuit or switch off the circuit then enable input works okay so what i mean is if i have a decoder of 2 cross 4 now this is let's say i1 this is i0 o0 o1 o2 o3 now if you give 0 0 here this is activated if you give 0 1 here then this is activated if you give 1 0 here this is activated if you give 1 1 this is activated okay now if we give e as input to this decoder which is enable input okay if e is equal to 0 then no matter what you give here nothing will appear okay why because e equal to 0 means the decoder is switched off and if you give e equal to 1 then only it will work normally so whatever the inputs we are giving to i0 i1 uh, on that basis one of these output will be selected so what i mean now is if e equal to 0 that means decoder is switched off if e equal to 1 then decoder is switched on and it will work normally okay so now let's see what are the characteristic equations of o0 o1 o2 o3 so o0 is activated when e is 1 and i1 and i0 is 0 0 so that means i0 i1 i1 bar i0 bar into e that is 1 so if if we make e as 0 then it will also be off so i1 will be i1 bar i0 dot e i2 will be i1 i0 bar e i3 will be i1 i0 e earlier these equations were same just e was not present in the previous equation when when we have enable input available then all the outputs will be multiplied by e okay now if you give e equal to 0 then all these thing will become 0 0 0, 0 and 0 if e is 1 then this is available this is available this is available this is available based on what we give here one of these four will be available then okay then it will work as we were doing till now okay now let's see a few questions and then you will be able to understand better this is the circuit given to us and they have been asked to find out f so what will be the output of this circuit now let's do step by step let's say this is d1 and this is d2 so we will always start from left hand side so now if we calculate d1 what is this this is a bar dot 1 this is e so a bar dot e since we have only one input so a bar and a and multiply by e so this is the output now this is not connected anywhere to f so we will neglect this now this input output will become input to this another d2 decoder and e is b here so here there are another two outputs so here a bar bar because a bar is the input and one bar for o0 so a bar bar dot b and this is a bar dot b so actually what we did is this is actually let's say if we call it as c so this is c bar dot b and this is c dot b so we have not introduced bar in o0 o1 we have written a bar as it is given in the input okay so this will become a b a bar bar is a dot b so here another line is coming from a 
so this is a and this is a b now what we have f as f since this is or gate so a plus a b and if you take a out then it will become 1 plus b and this is a so output of this function is a only okay let's see another question now in this question also we have been asked to find f so again the same drill what we have here is o0 will be a bar b bar o1 will be a bar b o2 will be a b bar and o3 will be a b now since e is given as c so we will multiply c with every output so it will become a bar b bar c a bar b c a b bar c a b c okay now if c is 0 nothing will come as output if c is 1 then everything will be activated and based on what is the input at a b one of these four lines will be activated now these two inputs are not connected with our or gate or f so we are not worrying about these two what we are worrying about is o0 and o3 and this is or gate so our answer is a bar b bar c plus a b c and if you take c out then it will become a bar b plus a b c and you can see that this is xnor gate so a xnor b into c so this is our final answer and you may find in one of the options okay so this type of enable input questions may appear in your exams so now by using this enable input we can build larger decoders by using smaller decoders so let's learn how to build larger decoders using smaller decoders in previous lectures we have studied how to build larger multiplexer by using smaller multiplexer where we were approaching from left to right so what we were doing is in building multiplexers so we have let's say for example i am revising we want to build 4 cross 2 multiplexer using 2 cross 1 multiplexer so what we do so we have four inputs in our final multiplexer so what we were doing is we were making two inputs to one multiplexer this is one two into one multiplexer this is one two into multi one multiplexer and as a whole it will become four into one multiplexer and now these two all uh, inputs these two multiplexer will have one output and we can give these two output as input to another multiplexer and this multiplexer will have one output what about the select lines so two select lines will be there so this one select line and this is another select line okay this is what we were doing so we were doing from left to right now what we have to do is we have to build larger decoders instead of larger multiplexers we have to de mul design larger decoders by using smaller decoders so we will use the same strategy but in the reverse fashion so reverse fashion means instead of you going from left to right we were going from right to left this time so let's say our question is build a 3 into 8 decoder using 1 into 2 decoder so we know that our final decoder so this is required and this is given so in the final decoder we have 8 lines as output so we are going to start from right hand side instead of left so this is 8 lines so if we write the names to them let's say this is o0 o1 o2 o3 o4 o5 o6 and o7 so these are eight output lines our final decoder will have now we have only one into two decoders available so we can use and as many as we can one into two decoder in order to build this three into eight decoder so if we give this two outputs out of one into two decoder similarly this output from one into two decoder 
this is 1 into 2 decoder again and this is 1 into 2 decoder again each decoder will have one input and one enable input so this is one enable input and the other one is one input to our decoder now this enable input we have how many enable input we have four so in order to cover four enable input how many decoders we need we need two one into two decoders and similarly this will have input and one enable input so this is enable input another in input and enable input okay so now we have another two inputs this time two enable inputs we can give this two enable inputs to one into two multiplexer again and this is enable input and this is input so what we can do is we can have this structure inside a larger box so this is one box this enable input is for three cross eight de decoder and we have to give three inputs so let's say these are the inputs i0 i1 i2 okay now how to connect these i0 i1 i2 with these lines so we have these inputs at level 3 these inputs at level 2 and this input at level 1 so we know that somehow that this is either i0 or i2 this is i0 or i2 and this must be i1 only so one thing is for sure that this is i1 why because these are the inputs and we have three inputs in any manner if we give i0 i2 or i0 i2 in between i1 will always be there so the middle one will be i1 only let's say let us see if we give this i0 and this is i2 for example i am taking this as i0 and this as i2 so let us analyze whether this is true or not this is i0 i1 i2 whether these uh, are true or not so another combination can be this is i2 i1 and i0 so first we are analyzing the green one okay so now i0 i1 i1 and i2 let's say this is 110 so in uh, if we write this into msb to lsb what it will become this 0 1 1 and if we write this into i2 i1 i0 form it will become 0 1 1 so it is in decimal equivalent to 3 it should activate o3 so let's see whether it is activating o3 or not so when we give i0 as 1 what will happen i0 as 1 so this is 0 1 so it will activate this one and nowhere by this it is activating i3 because if we go this way this is activating the green circled part and here in this circuit we are not having any i3 so it must be wrong then assuming that i0 is lsb and i2 is msb okay now let's say if we assume the same thing with the blue blue things so this is i so we are assuming this is i2 this is i1 and this is i0 so what will happen for the same manner so i0 in this case will be 1 i1 will be 1 i2 will be 0 so here what we will give here we will give 0 so it will activate this number this line and at i1 we have 1 so it will activate 0 1 so it will activate this line and at i0 we have again 1 so what will happen 0 1 so it will activate this line and you can see we have safely reached to i3 so that means this must be i2 
i1 and i0 so why i am telling you how to assign the numbers always pay attention that which one is the lsb and which one is msb so if you have msb here and lsb here then only you will read from left to right so i mean if you have this number this is msb this is lsb and so you must assign on the left hand side to msb this is l i2 and this is i0 and on the extreme left hand side you have to assign the lsb so you can learn this way also okay so you can see that how many one into two decoders we have used at level one we have used one at level two we have used two decoders and at level three we have used three four decoders okay so let so this is total seven decoders and levels are three levels okay now there are there can be some questions in gate which are asking about levels and number of decoders required directly so we can use the formulas which we have studied in the multiplexer so let me revise you in multiplexer number of levels can be identified by log base n into m to the seal okay and number of decoders so let's say this is l and this is d can be find out by summation of k equal to 1 to l where m divided by n to the power k okay there we have assumed that if we have given multiplexer is 2 into 1 and required is let's say 8 into 1 so we assume that this is m and this is n okay so now in decoders also we can use the same formulas assuming that if given decoder is let's say we take the same example we have done for this so given decoder is 1 into 2 and required decoder is 3 into 8 so here we assume that this is n and this 8 is m so the larger number is n and m okay now if we put the form values in this formula we will see that number of levels for this is log of base 2 8 seal which is log 2 to the power 3 base 2 is equal to 3 only and we have received 3 levels only and if we have to find out the number of decoders that is summation of k equal to 1 to 3 so we have l equal to 3 only and m is 8 divided by 2 which is n to the power k if we expand this formula we will see 8 divided by 2 to the power 1 plus 8 divided by 2 to the power 2 plus 8 divided by 2 to the power 3 so we have to go till 3 and see here this is 4 plus 2 plus 1 this is level so we have started from right hand side so this is the rightmost level which is having four decoders this is the middle level and this is the first level okay and you got the seven decoders as answer and we have been used seven decoders only okay so you can use these formulas to find the values directly but do not think that this circuit is implementation is not necessary when we have formulas why because in gate it may be possible that they are give you some circuit and some missing values have been asked by you okay so in order in order to answer that question you must know how this circuit is built so let's see another question on the formulas so how many 3 into 8 decoders are required to build 6 into 64 decoder okay so find it out i am telling you the answer in order to match with your answers so number of levels required is 2 and number of decoders required is 9 so first solve it and then match with the answer another question in the same fashion how many 
टू इंटू फोर डिकोडर्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बिल्ड सिक्स इंटू सिक्सटी फोर डिकोडर ओके नाउ द गिवन डिकोडर इज चेंज ऑल दो द रिक्वायर्ड डिकोडर इज सेम नाउ आंसर विल चेंज सो फर्स्ट फाइंड इट आउट योर सेल्फ एंड मैच विद दिस आंसर नंबर ऑफ लेवल्स रिक्वायर्ड इज थ्री and number of decoders required is 21 in this case okay another question which we will solve implement 7 into 128 decoder using 3 into 8 decoder so i would suggest you to take it as an exercise and try to find it out by yourself first now let's see how to do it so how many uh, lines we need so we will start from right hand side we need 128 lines although we will not draw 128 lines but what are the names of the lines this is o0 o1 o2 up to o127 these are the output lines in the final output of final output so let's say this is our decoder and we have seven lines as the input okay so this is i 6 i5 i4 i3 i2 i1 and i0 and this is e of the 7 into 8 7 into 128 decoder so we have to design this internally by using 3 into 8 decoder so obviously first eight lines will be used by 3 into 8 decoder and it will have three inputs and one enable input similarly if we use these decoders these decoders here how many decoders at this level will be used you can see that 128 lines are available here so 128 lines are available here and every eight lines will be used by one decoder so how many decoders 128 divided by 8 which is 1 6 so 16 decoders will be used at this level so similarly these 16 decoders will have 16 enables also and three inputs at every decoder okay so now these three inputs we will place as i0 i1 and i2 because these are the least significant bits and this is the last level so we will put least significant bits at this level now these 16 enable inputs can be given as the input output of one decoder and another decoder last eight decoders and first eight decoders enable input will be attached to this so we have 1 into 8 1 into 8 so i mean eight outputs will attach to enable input of the first eight decoders here and eight outputs of this decoder will attach to last eight out decoders of this side and this will have two enable inputs and three inputs so next three inputs will be placed here so i5 i4 and i3 because we are going from lsb to msb okay so what i mean is so it will be attached like this so whatever we are giving here are is available at here so this is i0 i1 i2 here also i0 i1 i2 here also i1 i i0 i1 i2 and same in all the decoders okay now these two enable inputs can be attached to one more decoder which is 3 into 8 now out of eight outputs only two are used okay and these are three inputs and only one input is required so we can give all the inputs as i6 here and this enable can be attached to this this is what i mean okay now you can see out of eight outputs only two are used so rest six are not used so this type of decoders can be said which is not fully utilized if we use fully how many uh, what will be the final uh, decoder size in that case let's find out that so if we use the this decoder with its full capacity then there will be eight enable inputs eight outputs here which will be attached to eight decoders here so instead of two decoders we will have eight decoders here 
so we can do it by formula also so what we have used here is so here we have used 16 decoders here we have used two decoders and here we will have we have used it one decoder so instead of using one into eight decoder since we used only two inputs we can use one into two decoder also so sometime it may be asked how many decoders one into eight and one into two are required so you can say that 16 at this level two at this level so that means 18 decoders of three into eight and one decoder of one into two since we have used only two in outputs rest six are not used so we can instead of using three into eight we can use one into two also okay so now see how many levels three levels have been utilized how many decoders in total we have used we have used 19 decoders in total okay so 16 plus 2 plus 1 okay so if we put this into formula let's see how many levels so this is log m m is 128 here and n is 8 so we can say it as log 128 by log 8 so this is log 2 to the power 7 log 2 to the power 3 which is 7 by 3 if you take the seal of it you will get you will get 3 only but from here only you can see that we have not used full capacity if we can divide this thing whole then only we have used full capacity i mean if it was 3 by 9 by 3 then we have received 3 we have not received anything in float so in this case we have used full capacity if we are getting the decimal answer then full capacity is not utilized from this formula also we can see that full capacity is not utilized okay so how to utilize the full capacity so if we if we put 9 there so what will happen so it will become 9 and here 3 will remain same so if we put 9 here it will become 512 okay and instead of this we will have so what will be instead of this we will have 512 so what was this this was m and if we if m value was 512 then what will happen this is 2 to the power 9 into 9 so if we use this decoder with its full capacity then we could have made 9 into 2 to the power 9 decoder okay so if they ask you what if we use the given decoder with its full capacity then what is the size of decoder we can implement so you can put the uh, for values in this formula and from here if you are getting the value in points then try to make it into integer by increasing this numerator if we increase this numerator to 9 then we have got 3 as a integer not as a decimal and if we put trace back this 9 to this then we could analyze that this is 2 to the power 9 if we have used it to full capacity and since this is n so this is n only and we can produce we can implement this much size of decoder okay this is how we can solve this type of questions thank you